Aloha, everybody. Welcome back to our Maui Property Real Estate Market Report. My name is Brett Christensen with Maui Property, and today we're going to immerse ourselves in the latest trends and stats for the island of Maui. But first, before we jump into that, I want to share with you guys some boots on the ground stories. Recently had a conversation with a client bravely navigating the complexities of an adjustable rate mortgage. The current upward trajectory and in interest rates is more than just numbers for him. It's actual genuine concern and costing him a lot of money every month because as those interest rates goes up, so does his payment. And he's actually seriously considering selling just because of these high interest rates. Similarly, a friend of mine recently shared with me their current situation. About a year ago, they planted roots in Austin, Texas, uh, securing a mortgage with a, a high fixed interest rate. So they were hoping that that interest rates would have come down already and then they could have refinanced and you know lowered their monthly payment. So that hasn't happened. So uh, since that hasn't happened, they've actually listed their home on the market and they're looking just to exit the property. So um, amongst these narratives, there's also uh, another trend I've noticed. You know, really the most optimistic buyers that I am seeing on Maui right now are those gracefully entering the retirement age. They've been enchanted by Maui for decades. They, uh, they've been frequent visitors. They fell in love a long time ago, and now they're ready to make, uh, make it their permanent or at least part-time home. And they want to spend their golden years just enjoying paradise. You know, these buyers aren't that interested in looking at what's going on, the market trends. They're really driven by a desire to enjoy life they're willing to sell property on the mainland if they need to, to buy here. And they just see a lot of value in spending time on the island. So it's these types of buyers that really make the Maui market unique and, and it does behave differently than these mainland markets. So now with these stories as kind of our backdrop, let's look actually at the market trends and insights and look at some statistics. All right, so let's get started with a national view. Here we go. Okay, so nationally, the housing market is facing low inventory, high sale prices, and interest rates reaching decade high levels. So in fact, existing home sales have seen a decline marking the slowest pace since August 2010. Now let's, uh, now let's jump to Maui, here we go. Now, despite these national trends here in Maui, we are seeing some interesting dynamics. You know, properties that are priced appropriately are attracting multiple offers and selling for over ask price. Now, median sales price for Maui homes currently is $1.1 million, and that's up 7% since a year ago. Condos are also in demand, although supply is up. The median sale price is $890,000, and that's up 5% since a year ago. Interest rates, uh, where they're at, homeowners are hesitant to sell their homes because uh, they were able to secure, most of them, uh, historical low rates in the 3% range. And now we're in the 7% range. Those owners that are enjoying the low rates, they, they don't wanna lose that. So um, this is really causing a lot of homeowners to just, even though they wanna move, just stay put, stay where they're at. So when comparing the national numbers to the Maui numbers, what we're seeing is unlike the steady decline in inventory, Maui has seen a mixed scenario with single family home inventory dropping 16% since last year, but the condo inventory has increased by 40%. All right, guys, we are at the end of our report. Thank you so much for joining me today. I got a quick tip for you guys. If you are a buyer and you're serious about buying something on Maui, you really gotta pay attention on a daily basis to what's coming on in the market because what we're seeing is the properties that are priced to market value are getting multiple offers and going quick within less than seven days they'll they'll get multiple offers and then they're gone and those are usually the ones that are being sold by people that actually just want to exit they're not testing the market to see how much their house is worth or you know often we do see people listing stuff that aren't that motivated and they're pricing stuff a little too high but we also see the properties come on they're even maybe priced a little low because they know there's enough demand out there that they're going to get offers 
and it's gonna move. So pay attention and if you want daily reports, you can sign up on MauiProperty.com. We can send you daily updates on what's changing in the market and that can really help you uh, stay in tune. Also, if you have any questions, you can contact us directly or even go through the MauiProperty.com website. If you go to buyer pages or seller pages, most of the commonly asked questions you can find answered on there. There's pages set up specifically for certain questions that we get asked all the time. So again, my name is Brett Christensen. Thank you so much for joining us today and see you next time. Aloha.